Hey everybody, welcome to another Photoshop CS6 tutorial. I'm your host, Buddy Blackbird, and today we're just going to go over the single row and single column marquee selection tools. And uh, those are up here in the top left of our tools panel. We, If you click and hold on it, we've got the single row marquee and the single column marquee. And these don't have hotkeys right now unless you assign them to them yourselves. So let's go ahead and just pick either or, doesn't matter. So I'm just going to pick single column. And then if you go ahead and take a click into your uh, canvas here, it'll select one single uh, column of pixels. It's a one, uh, one pixel wide. So it's just selecting one row of pixels. So what can this be used for? Why is this any good? Well, one thing that it's good for is creating anything that you want that's one pixel obviously so if you're working with like some pixel art something that's like um, 25 pixels by 25 pixels and you're going to use that for a video game or something like that then this might be helpful for you and if you're using something like if you're trying to use these guides here you realize that these guides only go up and down so maybe you want to start using these guides in a uh, um, like an angled fashion that's where this comes in and it's uh, pretty helpful so I'll show you a quick way to uh, make guides real uh, fast so what you want to do is you want to have a nice dark color or something that's really bright so maybe I'll go with this light blue or this really light blue so whichever works in your picture now when you have a selection if you press um, Alt and then Backspace on the PC, it'll fill in your selection with that color. So now if I go to, oh, I should have done this on a different layer. So I'm gonna um, undo. I'm gonna step backwards so the fill isn't there anymore, and I'm gonna create a new layer and do this on a new layer. So click on this uh, paper down here right next to the trash can and it'll create a new layer for you and now we're gonna create our guide on this new layer so now I can hit alt backspace and now I can go to select deselect and then you can see that there is a line there and you can see that the guide is right there now all we need to do is just um, transform this I'm going to edit and then let's go to transform and we'll go to rotate and right here on the rotate is the angle so then you can change it to say like a 45 degree angle if you would like and there you go now you have your guide at 45 degrees and since we put this um, on a separate layer I'm able to move it around uh, as I please so you can see that this light blue kinda has a hard time in inside of this um, really uh, bright background so you might want to change the color up sometime but um, here it is right here so uh, that's just a I guess that's a quick tip for you on how just one way on how to use the uh, marquee tools so the single row if you just click it just does one across like this so you can make the guides either way with either of these it's up to you. So thanks for uh, watching this tutorial about the uh, marquee column tools and the row uh, column or in the in the row marquee tools. Um, hopefully you guys can use uh, these to help you out. So have a good one, everybody.